hello my gorgeous friends on the internet okay so today we are going to be writing the logic for login and also the logic for register okay so let's start with the logic for login first because you know you can't really log in a user if you have not created an account but let's just start with login okay for now and so what i'll be using the best way we'll be using provider for this now okay so the best way i actually use my provider so this is the button to actually log in the user so what I normally do, I wrap my bot in with a consumer widget, okay, to actually list in and send the request. So we're going to wrap this stuff with a consumer widget. And remember consumer from my uh, tutorial that I did last time, consumers, like working with provider, it needs a data type. So without a data type, consumer is just, um, provider is just useless. So we're going to provide a data type, which is the authentication provider, which is the class we want to list into and also perform the action. So we're going to be the uh, authentication page. All right. So right here now, instead of this stream, you are going to remove the stream. And this builder takes three things. The builder, uh, the build content, the authentication provider, and also a widget. So I don't normally use that widget. I think it's just useless there. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> to me, I've not really used it before. But so this is the auth where we are going to be calling our stuff. Okay. So what we can do here now inside this return button, I will have to add. Remember this auth, this uh, stuff has now it has a a response is loading. So if it's loading, it will return true. If it's not loading, it will return false. So I will go to my login page now and add this stuff now. This status. So I will say auth dot is loading. Okay. So it's just going to be like that. So whenever it changes, whenever we make the request, it's going to change to gray and automatically it's going to change itself. So, but before we do anything, we need to validate each of these custom test feeds. All right. But I'm not going to be validating that because you can show a response. So that is for you guys to validate if you want. But for this case, okay, let me just show us how to validate. But there's actually a better way of doing validation, which is by wrapping this widget with the form widget and using a uh, custom form and adding a validator here. But that will uh, that will require us now to now add a validator. But because of time, I'm just going to use the manual way of nav uh, authenticating or uh, validating. So we're going to use if email. Okay. Dot test. Dot is empty, or if password dot test dot is empty so we can now use remember we have our message which is uh, from this uh, snack bar message we actually have show message to actually show the error okay to the user all right so we can show show message and uh, here we can pass the the string which is the message which is of feeds are required okay stuff like that and then we can actually have a contest so just pass in your contest like so so now watch out what will happen when we click on this login button it will show the dialogue all fits are requi required okay then else if it's not filled we can now uh, perform our method that is by calling the login so we're getting it from this auth so from this auth it will give us access to every a global object that is inside method or feeds that is inside this function so what we're going to do here now just to call you can see how provider is easy to actually do things so we can just use auth dot login user okay so we can pass in the email email dot test dot trim the reason why i use trim is to remove uh the white spaces before and after the test so now we can use a password dot test dot trim as well so you, you might want to do other additional uh, validation to actually check if the email is valid or not okay so for this case i'm just going to leave it this way and then something else it's missing okay let's let's just try okay let's just try to uh, log in a user so let me just use this okay for some sake i think it's just better we just use a valid email address okay okay yeah Okay, let's log in. We can get, we might get something like invalid credential. So look at this message that's going to print out. So you can see now it has changed to please wait because once you click on this login user, by default you are setting this stuff now to true and it's logging in. Once we get any response, we change it back to false. 
so you can see now we are having status error message invalid credential user null auth token null nothing was returned invalid credential so how do we handle each of these um, messages that is returned okay so the best way now we can actually handle this message to know uh, what the errors are and uh, what really happened while we were making the request so what i will have to do now inside this login page so inside here now inside this login page okay sorry inside login page login user i'm actually returning i'm going to return the message so we have this our response message which is a private method inside here so i'll be returning uh the response and it's going to have the message you can see which is actually the what is returning from this error here this message and then we are going to show the message error so once the message is returned we are going to set it to this re uh, response message and then it's going to print it out using notify listener so whichever widget that is actually listening to it can get it from this response message which is a getter okay so going back to the login page what i can do here what i normally do because this is this consumer kind of use a uh, stream builder so it listens every second so what i normally do uh, in my case i use a widget binding okay dot ensure initialize with some post delay so it's not going to like uh disturb the ui so it just tries best to get things done so i'll use alt here okay i'll explain this later Okay, auth.clear. Alright, so I think clear is not here, but clear is supposed to be somewhere. So what this clear does is just to clear the message, okay, the response message for us. So if you go to your auth provider, I normally put it down here. Uh, yeah, to clear the response message. And then, <coughs> alright, so see what is happening here now. For every slight second, every opportunity it has using post framework callback, we will check if the auth the response if it's not equal to an empty string okay then we can show the error that means it's not equal to an empty string but because by default if you look at here now it's actually an empty string so if we just if we didn't check for empty string it's going to be calling every sequence every second so we need to check if it's not equal to an empty string and then we show the message okay like okay invalid credential or stuff like that that is the message that was returned here from this error part yeah, any message that is returned, response message, try again, or this one, okay? Alright, so that's what is happening there. And then we'll clear the res response message to avoid this stuff to be calling uh, duplicates. So we just set it to empty string because we are not we are checking if this stuff is not equal to an empty string. Alright, so I'm going to save that. And watch out when I click on this login again. It's going to show us the message invalid credential so that's actually how you handle the message assuming this stuff now was right was correct you can now navigate us to the home page or the login page after we must have saved the user's data okay so now the next section we are actually going to implement the register uh, functionality for this and yeah 